Hi everyone, my name is Gina and I'm a nutrition student and dietetic intern at Rowan University. And today I'm going to be talking about what foods are best to refuel with after your run. I'm a six time marathoner, including the 2019 Boston Marathon, so I know just how important post run fuel is. Now I know not every run is as taxing, whether it's an easy recovery run, speed workout, or a long run. One thing remains the same, a post run meal to help you recover quick for your next run. It's important to be prepared with either a snack or a meal post run in order to prevent blood sugar levels from dropping and becoming a little hangry. Refueling is critical for restoring glycogen storages in your muscles and also helps prevent inflammation. Building your post run plate can be a little confusing, especially in the midst of training when your runs look different every day. Some days carbohydrates need to be the priority, while others can be a good balance between protein, fats, and carbohydrates. For those high intensity speed sessions and long runs, it's a good rule of thumb to have half of your plate with a carbohydrate source. This can be rice, potatoes, bread, pasta, whatever you enjoy and look forward to post run. Now one quarter of your plate should be a protein source like eggs, Greek yogurt, cottage cheese, salmon, or even tofu or chickpeas if you're plant-based. And the other quarter is for color. There's a lot of room for flexibility here depending on what you're craving after a hard run. I personally love to add in some avocado here, but if your stomach is a little upset after those harder and longer runs, it's best to go with a lower fat option like broccoli, sauteed kale and spinach, blueberries, watermelon, tart cherries, or even baby carrots. For moderate intensity days, your plate can be split into thirds between protein, color, and carbs. And now for recovery days and shorter runs, half of your plate should be colorful, one quarter should be protein, and the other quarter should be carbohydrate. Now I'm going to show you my sample plate for my post-speed workout today. I have half my plate with brown rice, one quarter with beet greens, and the other quarter fried egg. Now I love adding in fats here to keep me fuller for a little bit longer. So today I added in some avocado and feta cheese. And I always find that the feta cheese helps with the initial salt craving post run too. And while macronutrient breakdown is important, it's also important to highlight what micronutrients are good for too. Watermelon and tomatoes are high in water content and contain lysopene, which can help reduce the risk of muscle soreness and osteoporosis. My favorites are tart cherries and blueberries, which also can help reduce the risk of muscle soreness. And I feel like bananas are runners best friends with their potassium content, which can prevent muscle cramping. Although, did you know that sweet potatoes, beets, Swiss chard, and white beans have more potassium than a banana? Now I understand that it's not always realistic to have a meal immediately after a run. So it's best to be prepared with on the go foods that pack a lot of punch. My favorites are a yogurt with some berries and nut butter, saltines with a single serve pouch of tuna, toast with peanut butter, or even dried fruit and nut trail mix. Those are all great on the go options to help hold you over until you're able to refuel with a meal. While these are guidelines, it's always best to honor your hunger cues and listen to your body. After all, you know what works best for you. So if you find your plate looking a little different than you'd expect it to based on what type of run you did, that is more than okay. Our bodies are all unique and post-run nutrition is individualized. It's okay that you feel that you might need more carbohydrates on lower intensity days. Or if you're not super hungry after a long run due to stomach issues, try some lighter options like soup, broth, or even a smoothie. Whatever you decide to fuel your body with, make sure that it makes you feel good. Post-run nutrition is so important so you're able to get back out there tomorrow and push yourself towards your goals. Food is a critical part of training and it can make or break your performance. So make sure you are getting in enough nutrients so you can feel your best. Happy running.